Hey guys, Terran14. There is a big thing about why Rareware is dead now. Well, I can tell you the basics. It pretty much came from Microsoft that killed it. They did make some games for the Xbox in the 360, but after 2008, they never released another game by Rare, and that was its death. 1994 to 2008, that was the death of Rare, or Rareware, also known as Microsoft Studios. So technically, Rare actually made Halo, technically, since they called it Microsoft Studio. But, um, yeah, so, I'll get to the basics. In 1994, I believe, for the Super Nintendo, they, Rare made this great series, the Donkey Kong Country series, 1, 2, 3 for Super Nintendo, which was an outstanding platformer game where you play as Donkey Kong and you had to get your bananas, the banana horde from King K. Rool and the Kremlings and you beat them and you go through a bunch of worlds. And I want to say there's seven or eight, but yeah. Worlds and you do it through every game. Then the second game, Donkey Kong is actually captured and you have Donkey Kong. In the third game, Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong are captured, so you have to stay both of them with um, um, the fuck's it? D Dixie Kong and uh, Kitty Kong. I think that was the only game that Kitty Kong actually appeared in. That it kind of sucks though that they never that Kitty Kong never appeared in any other games. But anyways, then they were getting better. What's the Nintendo 64 era came in 1997? I just can't remember. I don't remember. But they made an amazing game called Dolo 7 Goldeneye. One, honestly known as one of the, the best first person shooter for Nintendo 64. And also, it is my first personal favorite first person shooter. Yes, I do prefer over COD. Reasons don't, ha don't matter. The, the multiplayer is a lot better, in my opinion. I don't care if you COD fanboys come and dislike this video just because I don't like COD. I, don't, I actually do like COD. I just prefer the Wolves and Goldeneye. It's an opinion. Get over it. Also, for this video, if there are some comments that are really rude and say very mean stuff, I will remove them and possibly might even block you and report you. But maybe I won't go back that far to reporting you. i probably block you because you're annoying. But anyways, Goldeneye was such a great game for Nintendo 64. Although it was pretty damn difficult. When you played it on Double O Agent and Secret Agent, the difficulty rose up and what man would I rage so bad. But I at least made it to the Aztec level and be down agent difficulty, which is pretty damn difficult as well. It seems pretty damn easy because you have to you have to beat Jaws, which is fucking annoying because he has two AR three three assault rifles. And the only way to beat him is they're supposed to like there's like a crack. And they're supposed to like get him to shoot and then you like stand behind the wall and then you go back forward and you shoot him to death until he dies. Well, unless like when you hear him like say stuff when he's getting shot, okay? Nineteen ninety eight. Oh oh yeah, I think it was also in ninety seven that uh they released Diddy Kong Racing and a uh, racing game for Nintendo sixty four. Uh, that was also a good game. Great racer for Nintendo 64. Um, and so, uh, 19, one year later, 1998, they released this amazing platformer called Banjo-Kazooie. It starts with a bear named Banjo, Banjo. And he actually appeared in Diddy Kong Racing, which is his first game. And so, wait, I don't think that was his first game, but I, I can't remember. So, uh, yep, and... So his sister Tootie gets captured by the evil witch Gruntilda, and yep, he has to go save her. And it's it's a pretty cool, fun game, fun platformer. You get a bunch of collectibles, a lot of characters, a lot of moves. It's a really fun game. It's a really that's not that difficult until you get to the later worlds. That's those are really difficult. But the boss, the final boss is kind of is kind of hard. Not not bad. It's a great. It's cr pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty difficult. It took me at least ten tries to beat it my first time. So, um, <clears throat> so after this, um, let's see. I don't remember if there was anything released in nineteen ninety nine, but there probably was. There was this game called Blast Corps. It was actually made by Rare, but Rare's logo never made it onto the disc. I'm pretty sure. 
people say like it was made by Rare, and I'm just gonna believe that it was. And I don't really know much about the game. It looks like like you play like a robot or something, you blast shit. But I don't know. I never played the game, so I'd have to try it. Um, 2000, I believe this was 2000. Banjo Tooie. I think it was two. I'm pretty sure it was 2000, or was it, or was it 2001? I can't remember. But they had this amazing sequel to Banjo Kazooie called Banjo Tooie. It was pretty much the game where it starts off two years later. Yeah, it has to be 2000 then, because the getting plot comes from two years later after Gruntilda was tra tra trapped under a rock from getting defeated by Banjo and Kazooie, and she's back to take her revenge. Um, so yeah. Rare, later in 2001, their last game for Nintendo 64 that came out really late. Honestly, the best Nintendo 64 game ever, and quite honestly, my favorite game of all time. Conker's Bad Fur Day. This that game is just the best damn game ever. Um, you would never get anything like that today. The humor, the toilet humor, the great mighty poo, the violence, the blood gore, the nudity, the multiplayer, the single player, the story. Everything's amazing about the game. But unfortunately, due to the rated M for mature thing, it didn't sell so well. Some parents thought that picking up the thing, they didn't really notice the this game was only for se people that are 17 and older. They didn't realize. They thought it was, oh, it's a good kitty game. I'm gonna get this for my kid. And so once the kid plugged it in, and they said, and they started playing in red text, scrolling to the front for mature audiences only. They were pumped. And once they played it, they didn't want to tell their parents about it because if they knew, if they got, if their parents knew about the game, they would have gotten rid of it. So the game didn't sell too well, but it sells pretty damn good today on eBay, and it's pretty damn expensive. I'm still looking for my copy. I have played it once. I played partially some of the game. I did play the, the Great Mighty Pooh, by the way. Did do that, and I played a lot of multiplayer, which is really fun. By yourself or with friends. I, pr I, I prefer it with friends but or cousins, but it, it was pretty damn fun. So, <sighs> the Nintendo 64 ended... In 2001, from 1996 to 2001. Sorry, my throat's a little sore still. <clears throat> so, what happened? Microsoft, Okinawa's Xbox, Microsoft, they, they got rare. And this is the story of how it ended. I want to, they made a Star Fox game for GameCubes called, uh, I want to say this was released by Rare as well, so before this, the it was sold. So, it was called Star Fox Adventures. I think it was Star Fox Adventures, or was it Assault? I'm pretty sure it was Adventures, but it was released by Rare. It was a pretty damn good game for GameCube, and I still want to get a copy of it. Um, so, in 2003 slash 4, I don't remember what the date of when it got sold. So Microsoft takes Rare. So what they do, they remake Conker's Bad Fur Day for the Xbox. Fans of the, re the first one could not wait to play the, the the remake. They thought it was gonna be better, it looked better, the graphics looked amazing, the characters looked amazing. But, it was a complete failure. Microsoft ruined Conker. I know maybe I'm being a little bit of a troll right here, but they p failed that game. They censored everything pretty much. Like they, like maybe they said bitch or shit like once, and pretty much the whole game was censored. The Great Mighty Pooh was censored. The multiplayer was just not as good. It was, and for online they promised more levels. They had like seven levels, and then they were gonna make more, but they just didn't do it. Microsoft, you failed. You, they left Conquer behind, and that was the end of Conquer. They were supposed to make a Bad Fur Day number two where Conker was supposed to be in jail. Never happened. Because Microsoft was too much too much of assholes to leave Conker behind. But what a great series that, that those two games. They're both great games. Let's get let's be honest. They at least had the same things. But the most annoying part about it. You know those turtle frog things that with spikes and they chase you and they stab you? Yeah, those things are all over the game in Life and Reloaded. Oh my god, that was annoying. 
And also the, the and whenever you enter the room, you get a loading screen. That is just terrible. Come on, Microsoft. A remake should not be shitty like that. That was terrible. Um. So, in 2008, for the Xbox 360, they released two games for Rare. I think two games. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything else, but do quote me on if I do miss something. But, uh, so, in 2008, for the Xbox... <coughs> excuse me. Well, not... Okay, whatever. They released a game called Pita... F um, um, Vita... P what the fuck? It's, what the hell? Okay. What the fuck? Um... What the f I don't remember what the hell it's called. I, I forget the name of the game. It's like Vita something. Uh, I forget the thing that you like do at birthday parties and you like. I just can't remember the ner the word. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about. That was released by Rare or Microsoft Studios. And then one more banjo game, Banjo Nuts and Bolts. The game was okay, I guess. I don't think it was as good as the first two games it was all twisty though like you make your own carts and you race them it's pretty it's pretty neat game it's it's not bad but that was probably the I think I was pretty sure that's the last game released by Rare also for DS they remade Diddy Kong Racing but it's not as good as the original just so you know so that was the end of Rare it really sucks to be gone with Rare Microsoft why did you do it why? So, I'm sorry about this not being Banjo Kazooie part five and six. Um, I will do that next time. Hopefully, maybe I'm not sure. But this is Shadow Mode 14. I hope you respect my opinion of Microsoft and Rare. And uh, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe to Shadow Mode 14. Do it to my uh, at 64 slash cool gamers channels. You should probably subscribe to those guys too. Especially Sega Saturn Gear 48. We are pretty good pals. We uh, play Mario Kart Wii. And also subscribe to um, 64 Bit Fanatic. He has some pretty good videos. He like he did like a new one today, I believe. Uh, another garage sale um, pickups video. So I'm, I'm I'm excited to see that. Uh, um. I guess you could subscribe to Sips and all. She has some pretty weird random videos that I kind of involved in, but I don't care. It, she's a cool cousin. I miss her. I haven't seen her, so if you're here watching this ship, I miss ya. Hope to see you soon. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.